again, you heard last week that by playing a major bop scale over a major chord, it meant that like all the downstrokes were playing like inside notes and all the upstrokes were playing outside notes. It's not that you can't use the other one. It just, it just won't fit as well. Again, if I play a C7 and I go, could you, could you hear it's like, the, the notes in that scale lined up perfectly yeah. with this. I'll do the other one. Watch this. I'll play a C7 chord. I'm going to play a major bop scale. That one. Well, I that emphasize one. This. Yeah. Can, you can hear the difference there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me give you one one more trick for minor for a minor scale. For a minor Scale. I'm starting to think though that it's a lot of it is about how you resolve out of the tension you create. Oh yeah, but <laughs> you can probably choose like you can play a lot of things even if they don't like fit well or maybe out of the realms of what's allowed. But if you know how to resolve it well, you maybe yes. it does work. I'm gonna agree with you 100. percent I'm gonna tell you this right. There's no wrong notes, but I'll make just two observations about that resolution, and then I'll just give you a little hint about minor scales. Two things. One is, it's not a good feeling when you're improvising and you decide it's time to resolve and you can't find the note to resolve, right? Look, I, we've all been there. Now, a pattern like this helps you find what notes you're going to resolve to. The other one, the magic of Charlie Parker, is he just keeps on resolving. <laughs> he's in, he's out, he's in, he's out, he's in, he's weaving between them. And that's a totally different thing. It's like he never has to, the line never creates so much tension that he's like, oh, I better resolve it now, which it's okay to do that. It's okay to create a line that creates a lot, like a wave of tension. Truth is, that has more to do with like John Coltrane than it does Charlie Parker. Charlie Parker would not go long without resolving what he was playing. I also say he wouldn't go, <laughs> he doesn't go a second without playing a note that creates tension. It's he's constantly resolving them. That's the purpose of these bop scales, to be able to, to weave in and out of the sound of the chord. Last thing for today. For a minor scale, the thing is, a minor scale is, is going to have a flatted seventh. Can you play a minor scale for me? Yeah. Perfect. So the seventh degree and the root, you want to add a passing tone between the seventh degree and the root. One more time. Let's play it together. Great. Good. Okay. Third, right? Yeah, this is the fourth. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Fifth. Fifth. Sixth. Six. Seven. Now add this note. Yeah. And again, if I play just the downstrokes, we hear this. Listen, just downstrokes. Now just upstrokes. Hear all the tension they're creating? But I put them together. Right? It fits the chord. So the thing I want you to work on uh, this week is take scales that you already know, and then you decide, is it, it, it a major scale? Do I want to turn this into uh, something for a dominant chord or a major chord? If I want to turn it into something for a major chord, I add a passing tone between the fifth and sixth degrees. If I want to turn it into something for a dominant, uh, a dominant chord, then I'm going to add a note between the 6th and 7th degrees. For a minor scale, you add a note between the 7th degree and the root. Okay, I wrote down all those. Got it. That's think? awesome. Awesome.